The Fox 9 Morning News starts now. Well, as the temperature starts to tick up, more and more head lice cases are popping up at our city's schools. Marta Shasavand is the principal at Richfield Dual Language Elementary School, and Rachel Knudsen is from Ladybugs Incorporated. They join us now with some tips on prevention. Yes, it is that time of year. Parents get nervous. Uh, we've been there in our household. So let's start with the basic. First of all, how do most kids, it's mostly kids, end up with head lice? It is mostly kids. The average age is 3 to 11. And the reason they get it is because they don't have their social boundaries yet. And so it's head-to-head -head contact. It all, all it takes is 30 seconds of head-to-head -head contact for it to be transferred from one child to the next. It's sharing those bike helmets. And now we're into that bike helmet season. We're into softball season, t-ball season. And all of those helmets are just being passed back and forth. One of the biggest things is that parents need to be aware of is that any child can get head lice, so they need to be checking their children's heads. Ladybugs offers free head checks every day at our three locations. We have a location in Hopkins, Woodbury, and Rochester. Okay, Marta, why don't you tell me how, for instance, using this product, I know there are many products, we'll talk about those in a minute, but how using this product has helped kind of keep the head lice count you know, down in your school system. What we did last year as a principal, I invite the ladybugs to come in and do first of all a education, a check the whole building, and then educating parents, and then we provided for parents, we gave to some parents the product, and also parents went and bought and visit their office, and that has helped us really maintain the trend went down. We can see the trend is the cases have decreased. Okay, so what is in your product that you think w works better than, I mean, there are a lot of products out there. There are I mean, a lot of products. You go to any pharmacy and there's just a whole section devoted to this getting rid of headlights, how to prevent it. Uh, you know, there are uh, natural products as well. Uh, w what do you have in this product that you think is working so well? What makes our product completely different from any one that you're going to find out there is that it's all natural, so there's no chemicals or pesticides in our products. Um, the bugs now, the lice are becoming resistant to the over-the-counter remedies um, because they are chemicals. Mm -hmm. Ours are all natural and the other benefit to our products is that we actually have a product in our elimination kit for the louse, the mm -hmm. live bug, and the knit. And then the key is actually the combing process um, to get all of that debris out of the hair. And our comb is a special metal microgrooved comb that will pull everything out of the hair. And typically in the over-the-counter products, you will find just a small plastic type rake mm -hmm. comb that is very difficult to get through little girls that have very long hair. That's right. And there are, they also, there is a comb out there that uh, uses a battery and it supposedly also gets rid of head lice. I, I use that as well. That is out there. Um, we have looked for efficacy rates on there and we can't really find any, um, but people d have used that and I can't tell you the success on those. Okay. Uh, Marta, why don't you, if you can, give us an idea of, you've seen plenty of kids come mm -hmm. to the school mm -hmm. with head lace cases. H how do you check and what are the symptoms for parents to look for in their homes? The first symptom is the scratching, the itching, that we see students itching and then immediately we ask teachers to send them to the nurse and the nurse does a head check and if we see something positive there then we call ladybugs and they come and they check the whole classroom. So that's the first sign. Parents then, we teach parents what to do at home, how, what to treat with the clothing, the beds, mm -hmm. carpets, stuff, animals. So we educate parents on how to deal with it we inform then other parents in the classroom too so because i think what you mentioned facially that it's very important that parents talk about it that is yeah i think that that uh, for any parent that's uh, you know gotten the diagnosis or realized that they, their child mm -hmm. has head lice the idea of having to take everything and and you know put it through the the, the wash cycle and bleach and uh, that still holds true generally when you it comes to you know what our rule is if it's not dirty don't wash it run it to the dryer and that will dehydrate it so just run it through the dryer on high heat for 40 minutes. If you cannot put it in the dryer, we just ask that you would set it out. Now in Minnesota, it's very easy because it gets very cold. Mm -hmm. If it's below freezing, you can set it out for 12 hours and then everything should be gone. Okay, well, it's a good reminder. This is the time of year when things start to heat up. We don't like that, but it's good to talk about it. Marta and Rachel, thank you so much for joining us this thank morning. You. Thank you. All right, it's uh, 8.36 now. Coming up on the Fox 9 Morning News, Emma Roscoe is at the American Swedish Institute bringing back some old memories.